Hello and welcome to English Your Experience. I'm E.T. Tutor and this is our Christmas Carol Quotation Countdown. So this is great for all you GCSE students who are trying to work out which quotations to learn for your exam. So, getting close, getting exciting. It's day 22. So now we've entered the final stage, stage five, and we are seeing a real change in Scrooge and his outlook on life and what it means to be a member of Victorian society. So, aha, nice little uh, cute one here. I'm quite a baby, I'm quite a baby. So uh, Scrooge is sort of going all over the place, thinking back to his night before and he's been to the Cratchit's house and realises that, thank goodness, what he thought may happen to Tiny Tim is not happening in reality. And this makes him feel new, brand new, like a little baby. So this is a good example of symbolism. Now symbolism is one of the things that helps a sort of understanding symbolism, being able to write about it, is one of the things that helps students to achieve those top grades. So if you're aiming sort of seven, eight, nine, being able to analyse how it's symbolic that Scrooge is born again, he feels like a baby, he's been reborn, you'll really be able to enhance your answer by um, quoting this one here. If you are unsure about symbolism, this is a really handy textbook, reference book that you can use, but I'll just have a quick look at it now with you. So, when we're talking about literature, it's a, a symbol is something that evokes a particular feeling within the reader. It's normally a concrete object, like the baby, and it has further significance. So children, babies represent innocence, purity, and these are the things that Dickens was trying to say Scrooge would benefit from. Seeing the world afresh through new eyes. All right then, I hope that one has helped. If you have any questions about any of the quotes I talk about, use the comment section below. And hopefully I will see you again tomorrow for day 23, our Christmas Eve Eve edition. All right then, bye for now.